Welcome to this short video. This is um, an exercise in shutter priority photography. I thought I'd come out to Headcorn Aerodrome and there's all sorts of activity going on. I've already seen two Spitfires take off. Uh, there's a um, utterly butterly type, you know, the wing walkers, and that looks fantastic. So completely handheld on this little exercise, um, I'm going into shutter priority and what I'm going to do is set the ISO to auto ISO sensitivity. Now normally I don't like having learnt about ISO and reducing noise and everything because I'm going to be panning with the subject, the aeroplane. Um, I don't the light would change you know I might have him on a blue sky and then all of a sudden there's trees in the background and it could change so we'll leave the ISO on auto more airplanes taking off but what I will do is set the minimum uh, the maximum sensitivity to 1600 ISO so if nothing else it's going to push it up to on, only 16, but it's a lovely bright day, so it should really stick at ISO 100, so that's cool. White balance, I'm going to leave on auto. You know, it's sunny, but then it's cloudy. Just let that do the thing. So the semi-automatic program mode of shutter priority, I'm giving it the shutter priority of anything between 1 30th of a second and 1 60th of a second any faster and then the um, propeller blades actually become fixed and you might have seen that on the video footage I did at the beginning of the Spitfire taking off it kind of looks like <laughs> it's not turning at all so so yeah um, 1 40th of a second is giving me an, an f-stop of anything between if I'm down here f16 if I'm up there it's f18 so i'm controlling the speed of the shutter camera's doing the rest of it which is ideal for this kind of situation so it's gone quiet now parachutists will be coming up the two spitfires have taken off so they're going to be coming back it's all happening i forgot to mention i've um got my all-in-one lens i'm really loving this lens it's the tamron 18 to 270 um zoom so big or little <laughs> i can go wide angle at 18 yeah it's not proper wide angle lens so i might get some vignetting going on but um very seldom do i run it at 18 but almost 300 mil so we got our 270 range so it's all very exciting i can be flying following the subject zoom in quickly zoom out um and then i've got the shutter priority uh, the capture what, what, what would you call it you know continuous shooting single shooting yeah it's set to continuous I might have to adjust the focus range let's have a look here what I've got for the autofocus my options are single point autofocus dynamic area autofocus I don't do 3d tracking so I don't know what that is auto area autofocus so I can potentially have a go at that I'm on single point I might have to swap it to dynamic. I'm going to take a couple. So let's see what happens. I'll be panning with the aircraft as they fly by. A 40th of a second should give me enough um, to allow the propellers to be shown as in motion. I think there's nothing kind of worse than seeing an aeroplane with propellers and they're, you know, rigid. So it kind of makes it look like it's a model airplane. But if, if there's motion and there's blur in the background, if I'm panning with the with the subject, then it will, oh, excuse me, sniffing. If I sneeze, it's because I'm suddenly suffering from hay fever and I've never suffered from hay fever before. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll just see what happens when the airplanes come. The Spitfires are coming in. I don't know if they'll come all the way down here, but we'll try and get a couple of shots of them. They obviously look better when they're flying. 
That was, what was that, 5RS. It's a nice one, that. There's another one coming in now. It's going to come flying right past us. I'm a bit excited. Look at that. What a graceful thing. Yeah, one fortieth of a second is working. It's making those propellers look all in motion. Let's get right up to the cockpit, see if we can get the pilot. Chappy gave me a wave. Did I catch him waving though? No, I missed him. If this guy will wave. I think he's even sporting the handlebar moustache, chaps. Get a shot of them together. anything happening. What is the time? Might be time to have a sandwich. Midday. I'm going to have a little bit of lunch, finish my cup of tea, and hopefully in a half hour or so they'll be kicking off again. We'll have a little wander around and see what we can see from a different angle. I've got to go around that side with the... Oh, something's firing up. And you can see the tiger moth there. Zoom in. The two Spitfires are down there. I took a couple of shots of them, so we'll head round and um, see if we can take some shots from the other side. And perhaps I've, what I've got, I've, I've ditched the tripod, so you're on a group gorilla tripod thing going on here, and I can wrap it around some of the posts and all sorts of things. All the mod cons. Let's go and see these aeroplanes. This is the old aerodrome. I can't imagine these were here in the 40s. Probably 60s by the looks of them. You've got the skydiving team. That's where they meet for the skydiving training. And behind that you can actually see the jump test centre. If you come around here, it gives a better view or a side view of the two Spitfires. And the... Tiger Moth. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here for you. I think they're prepping them for a, a second run. And the Wing Walk Company is what it's called. I don't know how much it costs and I'm not even going to inquire. Looks like they're prepping. Checking the weather. I love her glasses. And why are they looking up in the sky? Because of that. Big grey clouds. Is it going to rain? I love that there's a lot of activity going on. The plane out there is prepping. This is all private aviation, of course. Spitfires are kicking off again <clears throat> and the wing walker so I'm going to get back over there see if we can get in a good position I might have to run <laughs> oh my word right let's see what happens here we go here we go Times. I 
that's going to be flying around figures of eights and turnings I wonder how much that costs I shall search the internet when I get home and by the time I found out it'll be on the screen now <laughs> I want to show you the footage but I want the spits to take off as well the Spitfires, Supermarine Spitfires. And those in the know call them Spits. Okay, here we go. Continuous shooting, I might have got one, maybe two shots out of that. I must pull back and do more panning. Oh, chopped off the tail of the plane. Whoa. Those pistons. Forty, eight 80 years old those aeroplanes tip top condition oh I'm happy with those some really nice shots which I will show now bearing in mind they were all set at shutter priority so camera decided on the f-stop and camera decided on the ISO so let's have some footage. So while the wing walk is flying around, I will conclude by saying thanks for watching and bearing with. It's lovely to get out on the sunshine. Do give the video a like and subscribe if it takes your fancy. And I'll catch you in another video. I'll leave, leave you with a montage of aeroplane pictures and some footage of the wing walker. Bye for now.